good morning. Happy Sunday. It's Nudia, your host for the Entercom Public Affairs Show. Um, we're coming off a pretty important week. It is National Suicide Prevention Week. And I know last week we had this amazing two-hour PSA that talked about mental health and suicide prevention and all these amazing things. Uh, so we're going to keep up with that today. We have Zandra Pollard with us. Hi. Hello, Nidia. Thank you for having me. No problem. She is the Director of Business Relations for Mind and Body Behavioral Health Service. Yes. And um, so we want to talk about this event that you had this past week. Okay, so um, I was at the Art You OK um, event that was um, with the City of Las Vegas. And it was a great um, event. It was to bring awareness to mental health um, through the arts. So every Which table. Is super important. Yeah. Yes. So we wanted to make we wanted to be approachable, right? Mm -hmm. And so uh, Celeste Ainsley, who works with the City of Las Vegas, I know she's a volunteer with the Vista Core Group, and she came up with uh, the title of the event, and uh, we were all collaborating and talking, and we thought it'd be a great way to make you know people like us approachable, so that you know families are are comfortable to talk about whatever issues they may be facing or their family members. And uh, we just wanna, you know, this education is important to break the stigma, you know, of mental health. And so this was a very important cause and I was definitely glad to be a part of it. Awesome. It, it is, it's a, such a difficult topic to talk about. We're barely starting to be able to talk about it. Families are barely starting to be able to have these types of conversations. So to be able to do it in an environment that is, you know, that could be fun. You know, you, you said there was comfort animals there and art. And so it's just like, you know, to be able to have that environment to get people really comfortable, you know? Yes, yes. I was telling you before we aired that we had uh, comfort animals. And then it was, uh, well, let me tell you, it was at the historic Fifth Street School in the Arts District. And uh, we utilized the inside and the outside. So the service animals were outside. The events, and uh, because we had a band, we had um, an MC, we had spoken word. So there was entertainment. Fleming Steakhouse, they offered um, gift certificates uh, for a raffle, which was great. Uh, awesome, no, it, it's really cool. So this event was put on by the city? Yes, correct? it was put on by the city of Las Vegas, and then we had other vendors who participated. Um, so it's really about just collaborating and coming together to, you know, to break stigmas and to bring awareness. And I just really appreciate it being a part of this wonderful movement to help bring awareness to the city. I know that Nevada last year reduced suicide rates by 1%. And so we're trying to keep that going. Because if, uh, I don't know the exact statistics, maybe you know, but Nevada has one of the highest suicides rate, suicide rates. You know, I don't know that exact statistic either, but I do know that the Office of Suicide Prevention came out with a stat last year saying that um, Nevada was reduced by 1%. So, in the big scale of things, I really don't know what that really means, but at least we're the only state that has shown a decrease in numbers, and so that's super important. And so, the the event, whose um, idea, where did this form? Were you a part of the formation of the event, or did you just get brought into it later on? Um, absolutely, was there in the beginning. Uh -huh. uh, came there maybe about 10 minutes late, and then they had already come up with the name. Um, so again, shout out to uh, Celeste Ainsley on that and her hard work and dedication but also you know I participated by you know suggesting some of the vendors and getting the um, gift certificates and it's a lot of work putting on an event is a lot of work it's absolutely <laughs> a lot of work and since I do not work for the city of Las Vegas it was really hard to hold back um, and restrain <laughs> so you know it's like I would bring a lot of suggestion for them to move forward on and they absolutely did so I'm really grateful for that. But I try, or I do, not try, I do do something every year. 
if it's for suicide prevention or if it's for um, domestic violence. So that's coming up. So I'll be working with people in the city um, in terms of domestic violence awareness. Oh, right. oh okay. Is yes. there like a special um, week that's happening or? It's the month of October. Oh, it's the month of October. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So, um, what, so you work for Mind Body Behavioral Health Service. Mind and Body Behavioral Health Services and they uh, provide therapy services for individuals, families, and groups. And so Mind and Body um, I'd like to give their information for anyone who may need services. People who are dealing with depression, anxiety, um, or whatever you are need an assessment. A lot of times people will talk to their family members or friends and they absolutely need to speak to a professional. Um, just to be evaluated to say, oh, it's okay, it's normal. You got about five, 10, 15,000 other people who feel the way you do, you know. You, you just don't know because we hold our emotions a lot of times inside and we don't share. Um, and I think getting that objective feedback is super important. And so with that being said, Mind and Body Behavioral Health Services, their phone number is 702-478-7444 and they're located on Rainbow and Sahara and it seems like you are super, you, you do a lot of like, you know, philanthropical things. Is that, you know, health and wellness and is that something like that's always been important to you, like that cause? You know, yeah, before I was actually working for Mind and Body Behavioral Health, I worked for another agency previously, but it all started from the nucleus. So, you know, I have a family, I have a family of four and there were times where you know uh, professional help was needed and we reached out and it absolutely helped and I would have never known to kind of reach out in that way um, until someone talked to me about it and I tried it and it worked so you know sometimes you just need a tune-up sometimes you need you know just a little adjustment but I always think it's a great idea to get an assessment and talk to a non, to someone who's objective and, um, you know, see where, you know, kind of gauge and help you where you are. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's so funny because my, both my parents, they, they see therapists and they're big advocates of people going to therapy, yes. you know, and so, and a lot of people aren't like, they think, you know, if I go to therapy, there's something wrong with me, or I need help, there's something wrong with me. I think everyone has issues and it's, it's great that now we could come out and we could kind of be open and it's like, not everyone's perfect, That's you right. know? And so, um, like how long have you been in this business? I've been in this business for about two years as, um, like developer PR marketing. But I've been um, an advocate for people with disabilities for over 25 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm from California, and I moved here about six years ago. So, and I wanted to say when you were talking about your family getting therapy, that um, we also had a push for Minority Mental Health Awareness Month, which is in July, and we uh, partnered with. The NAACP on that, and uh, to bring awareness to help break those stigmas because we're kind of the last as African Americans and Hispanics, kind of the last to uh, you know move forward on getting that professional help. So, to make it a priority. Yes, yes. And so, uh, do you have any other events coming up? That I know you said for domestic. Um, Violence Awareness yes. Month, which is next month. Yes. Um, do you have any, you know, do you have anything else like people could look into to attend? Um, you know, I'm looking to collaborate with some people in the community for that. Um, if anyone would like to reach out to me to discuss how, you know, uh, the possible formulation of uh, next month, they can reach me at zondrapollard at gmail.com. And it's simply my first and last name, <laughs> and it's Z A 
Z-A-N-D-R-A, last name P-O-L-A-R-D, at gmail.com. If you didn't get that, just go ahead and give me a call, not in the middle of the night, <laughs> but you can call me at 702-622-5192. And if you have any, any questions, again, to formulate an event, um, you could reach out to her if you have any questions about um, mind and body behavioral health service. You can reach out to her for that. And thank you so much for being with, here with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please, absolutely give me a call if anyone is interested that uh, wants to help create next month's event for domestic violence. You can reach me at zondrapollard at gmail.com or call me at 702-622-5192. And if anyone out there listening feels that they need to speak to someone in terms of trauma or depression, anxiety, please reach out to Mind and Body Behavioral Health Services. Their phone number is 702-478-7444. Perfect. Thank Yay. you. Awesome. You get so great. Oh my gosh, your voice is so soothing too. Oh my like... God. You know, I have a breathing disability. <laughs> Girl, I had a surgery and like my airway, my vocal cords don't completely close or open. Did your voice change? It's changed. Really? It's just, yeah. yeah, and I can't, I've come a long way. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so funny. No, I, it's it was super soothing. Like I, I loved hearing it. I've I've come a long way. <laughs> I've come a long way. And you know what's so what's so crazy is I've had more speaking engagements now since, uh, <laughs> since I've gotten this disability than I ever have ever in my life. So it's so it's so like nurturing. It's great. I love it. It sounded perfect. It sounded really really Thank good. Thank you. I awesome. You. And you were you're great. You didn't mess up. That's cool. Well, that part Makes where my... I said and and then I just stopped. <laughs> I, you can yeah, yeah, no, no. The, the silence. We could just fix that. That's okay. Fine. okay. That, honestly, because sometimes people like I have to do a lot of editing. Like they'll keep stumbling over words. But you were a pro. You took it. Oh awesome. yes. It's that experience. <laughs> <laughs>